guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you stopped by today because today we are gonna be working on another poseable project. Lately, I've been trying to mess around with different ways of doing my art dolls, trying to add more movement to them and just different things. And I've been doing the poseable jaws, poseable beaks. Well, this time around, I wanted to try and do poseable feet. Basically have it where you can move the toes all around and everything like that. And um, I figured this would be a fun little extra thing you could add to your art doll. So I'm gonna go over how to make some plush poseable feet with some resin claws. Anyways, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we need to make our poseable feet are some claws. These are gonna be at the end of each toe on our feet. So I left the claws very simple. I decided that I wanted to make them out of resin. So the original ones, of course, I had to sculpt out of clay, but then I casted them in silicone and I just made a bunch of them out of resin. So that way I can make as many as I want and I can use this for future projects. Because I do plan on making a lot more poseable features in my future projects and feet are definitely one of them. Anyways, we have all of our resin claws ready for our feet and I'm going to start painting them. So I'm just gonna pick some colors that are going to be in the creature that I'm gonna be using these claws for. And you will see this creature in a future project. I just haven't finished the creature yet for the feet and I figured working on the feet tutorial would be more helpful. Anyways, I got all of our claws painted. Once that was completely dried, I took a little bit more resin and I applied a thin layer over everything to protect the paint. So I let that cure overnight and then the following morning I could take all of our claws off of our cardboard and we can start drilling some holes in the back. We need some holes in the back, that way we can add some wires to the toes. So I'm just going to take my drill and I recommend being extremely careful with this. If you don't feel comfortable holding the claw like I am, I'm also going really slow by the way, so I felt like I was okay with this. But if you don't feel comfortable, make sure to like have it in like a vise or something, that way you're not holding the thing you're drilling into. So don't do what I'm doing if you don't feel comfortable doing it. But basically what I'm doing is I'm drilling just under an inch into our resin claws, being careful not to have it peek through any of the edges. I'm going straight into the back. And I'm picking a drill bit that is thick enough to give me enough room, that way I can have the wire fit inside. And also it's really good to have the wire bent and kind of looped, that way it has more to hold onto when you glue these into place. So I'm gonna get all of these drilled and then I'm gonna take the wires that I have. I have them all cut to size. So for the middle claw, I'm going to have this on its own wire, except when I'm making the front feet for my creature. I decided that with this creature, I'm going to have it have dew claws. So I'm gonna bend the wires differently so I have extra wires for extra toes. But the outer toes, these are going to be connected together. So the wire is bent in half and I'm gonna connect a claw onto each end of the wire. So I'm gonna glue all my claws into place on their wires and then once we have those in place, we can start putting the wire frame together for our foot. So I'm gonna figure out the length of the toe that I need and then I'm just going to take a thinner gauge wire to wrap everything together. The body of the wireframe, I'm using a 16 gauge, and the wire that I'm using to wrap everything together is a 20 gauge. One thing that I like to do with my wireframes is once I have them put together, I take hot glue and I go over all the wrapped portions. This just kind of helps protect everything and keep it together a little bit better. Okay, so we have our wireframes all put together and now we need to start on the sewing and covering up our wireframe. So I made a pretty simple pattern to work with for the toes and the body of the foot. Each toe is going to just have a left and right and I'm going to be having all the toes the same length. So all of these are exactly the same and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pin them together and we're gonna be using our sewing machine to sew the top portion of them together. And then once I have them together, we can remove any excess fabric from them and we can start gluing them around the base of our claw. So I'm just going to take a little bit of fabric glue and I'm gonna go all the way around, let that dry. And then what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna start sewing the bottom portion of the toe closed and stuffing it. Mm -hmm. 
Once I have the toes put together, we're then going to start sewing them together. So I'm going to spread my wire frame and in between each toe, we're gonna stitch them together. And then for the foot portion, what we're going to do is we're going to have a piece of fabric for the top and bottom. So I'm going to take the top portion and sew it to the top portion of the toes, and then I'm going to take the bottom and sew it to the bottom of the foot. While doing this, you'll also sew the two pieces together going down the sides. Now, if your foot does not have a dew claw like the back feet for my dragon, you're pretty much done with your foot right now, but my front feet are going to have dew claws, so what we're going to do is we're going to add that claw. Now, I always leave my wires a little bit longer when I'm not 100% sure on how long I need them. So I'm going to adjust the length of the wire for our dew claw. And then once I know that it's the length that I need, I'm then going to take our claw, glue it in place, and then I'm gonna take the fabric for the claw and glue it around the base of that. We'll sew that closed, stuff it, and then you'll sew it to the rest of the foot. Just connect the fabric to the base of the foot. And then once you have your poseable feet all put together, you can then add them to your art doll. So for mine, I had to add them to the wire frame. I just wrapped them in place, connecting them, and then sewed the fabric around the base of the foot, connecting it to the rest of the leg. Another thing you can do with your feet is you can also decorate them a little bit. With mine, I ended up cutting some felt and making some scales to go along the top of them. So I ended up sewing these in place, just kind of layering them and going up the leg. Okay guys, and that's how I made plush posable feet for my art dolls. I had so much fun with this project and I can't wait to mess around and add them to art dolls. Make sure to keep an eye out because I am gonna be doing a tutorial using these feet and the posable head that I made the jaw with and we're gonna make a dragon. So keep an eye out for that. That should be coming up pretty soon. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, to all that fun stuff and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.